Hello, welcome to this uh, episode. Today we will talk about uh, how we can test our, our architecture, which is uh, has been constru constructed uh, under um, high available uh, components. Okay, so we will be sure that this architecture, which is an open stack architecture, build for in, uh, under high availability. So at the by the end of this video, this architecture. On will be put under storm. That means that you will RDPM or connect to my environment. Okay. So, so for the zero, um, on my oh, internal. Okay. So let's assign on a floating IP to one instance. Right now, we'll go back to Netflix. Floating IP. Allocate IP to project. Okay, and the project public, so this network is the instant network. Okay, and I will generate a, I will pick up one IP uh, into this uh, network. Okay, and this IP has been picked. I will, I will, I will, I will associate this uh, IP address to uh, our, to one instance. Okay, let's associate it. I will see I will associate it to the Cyrus one. Okay. Okay, our thing is done. Let's refresh of the browser. Active. So now the instance side is uh, the first IP has been signed to this instance. Let's see this uh, on the general view. As you can see that the hosting IP, this hosting IP has been assigned up to this instance. Simply, okay. And now, right now, uh, has I've already updated the security group. I'm able to reach this hosting IP from external. Just uh, let me uh, show you the, the security group. It is very. It is a permissive security group. Security group. We don't have to do this one in production. Here, if for the ingress flows, okay, for the ingress flow, I, I will load the ICMP. So anyone can be, anyone can ping, launch the uh, IP ping request to my network. Okay, so let's, uh, so let's open the administration front console from the, on the Windows server, okay. And this Windows server have an uh, have this IP address. Okay, so externally we have uh, this Windows server which, are, which which have uh, this IP, and it is, uh, it is on the same network with my uh, with my uh, with float IP. Okay, so I can launch. I will launch a ping on it. Seven. This is, I think that this is this one. Let me uh, be sure. Instance. Okay. One one nine. Okay. And we see if it's working. Great. Okay. So from I can generate right now. I'm generating an east uh, and southwest south for. Uh, now for request so okay so for the external i can reach my 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 network or internally okay so second point let's be sure that from this node one node i can also ping uh, servers which is uh, outside okay so let's do that for to achieve that i have a lot of choices okay i can do it through the, this web this web browser but I will go it uh, through through the through this uh, this console. Okay, I'm on complete one. How am I know that? It's because after the deployment, uh, I can check it here on the on the administrator tab. tab. I have all this information here. The instances has been deployed on the compute one. Okay, so I'm just I will go on the compute one right now. Virtual list. Okay. And also, before be uh, in order to be sure that all the deployment has been done successfully, 
I can uh, go to uh, this folder where I live instant uh, instance okay and from there I can see if uh, for instance I will check if uh, metadata agent or uh, is there is no issue with the met metadata agent for instance okay great as you can see the, the host name has been injected to my to this node to this instance and uh, I can see that all the contacting to the metadata has been done successfully. So there is there is there is there were no issue during the, this instance instant deployment. Okay, so I'm on the Marvel one for instance. But I can push console push this first. Push so connect on the first one the Saras one uh, zero one two okay I will connect to it and so from there okay from there I will launch if you you remark this cyrus 2 don't, doesn't have a floating ip okay this cyrus 2 as you can see there this uh okay let me show you again for the console if i do uh, open server server list Yeah. It's a win. Ah, yeah, I'm on the controller one, for instance. Okay. If I do open stack server list and uh, for the for the Cyrus two for instance server two. You can see that uh, there is there is no floating IP that has been signed up to this node. Okay, only the, the internal the fixed IP. Okay, the internal IP uh, has been signed up to this node. But if you do the same things for the first one, you can see that for the first one for, for the Cyrus uh, one. Okay, we have uh, a, the fixed IP and uh, the floating IP that, that has been signed. Um, so from there. Let generate. Let try to ping. Okay, uh, to ping uh, an external node. Okay, uh, from this on uh, this this instance, and we are explain. I will explain you why and how that is possible. Okay. For let's see if it's possible. Great, so I can ping an external address or from this server. Okay, for this or from this instance. Okay, for the instance of Cyrus two. It's okay, and let do it again. Let's launch the same kind of thing from the from the from the server for the first from the first server. Okay, from I mean from the instance of Cyrus one. Yeah, we do the same things uh, before do that let me uh, show you one thing ip this. i can see that all this our router is there okay and i will connect all to this instance to this uh, particular instance okay 
this is sensor we use from the from the router okay from the router I will SSH uh, to this instance Cyrus. Uh, let me pick up the IP address to this server. Okay, and I will uh, this I I will just call the, the private key. Okay, because I previously before this uh, episode I have already uh, imported the this private key on on the on the copied node. Okay, and it just to show you this uh, uh, private key is uh, this uh, key. Okay. That has been already uh, generated before. Let me uh, this one. Let's hope. Uh, yeah, on the project and the project. Mm, volume, no, yeah. Yeah, key pair. Okay, and uh, during this, uh, this deployment of the deployment of, uh, of this instance, this uh, key has been uh, injected to my to the, to the server. Okay. So I will connect uh, to this node. Yes, it's so I'm connected on it. First name. It's our swan. And from this node again, I will uh, launch a ping to the to my to my uh, external node. Okay, to uh, the Windows Server node. It's a ping. So this thing is possible again. We both things are poss possible because it's the same security group that has been assigned out to the uh, to the both node. Okay, and and within this uh, security group, I have a forizer, uh, I have a forizer, the ping. Okay, the regressor uh, uh, flow. This flow that manage it. This is regress flow of rise of the ICMP. Okay, from from the internet to any ad, to to any remote address. So because of that, of this ping ping is possible right now. Next next time, let's shut down now some nodes. Okay, and uh, we will see if our infrastructure, our high availability, uh, high available infrastructure or architecture is working. But before we proceed, let me show you. Uh, and uh, over and view here we have an HA proxy which is a, uh, our load balancer this load balancer will uh, load sharing uh, the request uh, evenly to some uh, API okay as you can see there we have uh, many uh, API uh, internal API of OpenStack we have uh, the, uh, the Glance, Keystone, Nova we have also the uh, Nova Metadata API, we have also the Cinder uh, API, and so all those metadata, uh, all those API has been reachable, uh, has been uh, controlled by your high HA proxy. Okay, so it's just keep a look on this point, and also regarding the RapidMQ, I've configured it all has an active passive, active uh, passive. Uh, Service so at one one time, so it is uh, the controller one that we are able to handle the traffic. You see, but you can from your side you can do whatever you want. Okay, and uh, for the for the um, database side, I've configured it uh, as an also uh, active uh, passive uh, okay service service. Okay, so it is how I have configured it. So now I will shut down some nodes. And uh, I will, will see what will happen. And uh, this uh, IP address, okay, this uh, the floating IP address uh, has been carried right now. Let me show you which node is carrying carrying uh, this uh, floating IP address. Uh, let's me do it again. This node uh, 
IT proxy one, okay, and let's do PC path uh, status. The power sync. Okay, it is right now you have one node which is uh, offline, the IT proxy three, uh, and uh, it is on the only two nodes which is uh, which are online. Okay, right now. And that is, uh, as you can see, it is a uh, vpassing carry by only one node, okay, right now. So we will shut down many nodes and we will see what will happen. We will put our architecture in the store and we will see what will happen if the infrastructure will continue to work in our nodes, okay. So let's do this. So for the shutdown, it is very simple. I already uh, prepared and uh, we have uh, an uh, administration administration web interface, okay, where I can from where I can shut down some nodes, okay. So first of all, I will shut down. Let's see, I will shut down the controller node two. Yeah, let's stop it. I will shut down the. Right now, we have HTTP proxy one, which ca which carry the the, the, the floating IP, if you remember. So I will shut down this HTTP proxy one. As you can see. You can see that here it is uh, one line. Yeah, it's a proxy. So I will shut down it. Stop. Great. And next, uh, I will, uh, regarding the database also, I will shut down one database server. Uh, Great. And uh, for the network node also, as if you remember, we have also uh, two network nodes. I will shadow. I will shadow both network nodes, and you will see what will happen. Uh, shadow the both the both network node. Stop network node one. Shadow network node two. Great. And uh, we already did enough. <laughs> And let's see uh, what will happen to our infrastructure right now. The, yeah, the HA proxy one is out. I can't have access it, uh, to it anymore. And um, let's go on the HA proxy two. Let's see it online. Okay, it is online. Yeah. If I do so. I do PC as uh, status. You can see that of the both nodes are down. Okay, if I do uh, um, a PA, the virtual IP has been moved to this node dynamically. Okay, so let's see now the, the browser, the Horizon browser, browser. Now, if I refresh it, Great, so virtual IP is working, and uh, secondly, you can see that the controller node is down right now. The controller node is, uh, is down, and uh, second, you can view that the both not, uh, network nodes are down. Okay, the both okay. Network node one and two are completely down, as you can see here. Okay, and uh, for the, the database also, let's see the database size. Uh, yeah, on the database, you can see that the database three is down right now. Okay, so are we able to, uh, to Either access to the browser can we perform some action or to our OpenStack infrastructure? It's what we will discover right now. Okay, let's click on it. Great, I have access. And this, uh, this uh, host name, this controller, it is the internal resolution that has been uh, performed right now. Because I, I have performed some uh, an internal resolution to this. Uh, to, uh, to this IP, okay, it's because that I'm able to uh, directly, okay, uh, port this IP there, this host name there, okay, just because of that. 
So right now I've still have, I've still have access to my infrastructure. And let's see, let's see if I can create or uh, uh, generate, generate some workload to my infrastructure by, for instance, create a new instance. Let me see. Uh, let's say uh, instance uh, storm uh, instance storm storm zero one. So we don't have a, a very funny name, but it's just for testing purpose. Okay, and quit. Uh, so uh, the, I will connect to this uh, this network, for instance. Okay, and let me launch it. And let's see what will happen. And meanwhile, let's see uh, what happened. As you can see here, the ping is still ongoing. The ping didn't stop, even if we stop our many nodes in our cluster. The ping from the outside to internal to our floating IP, this ping is still ongoing. Okay, and let's also see what happened now to the uh, internal internal uh, ping remember this ping that has been done right, right now okay is from let's post the the cyrus cyrus of zero one so you still can tell me how does it possible because you shall you shut on before the network to both network to node so what happened right now uh, uh, in our networks, okay, and let's see again in our in our uh, in our points. This this ping is, is stopped; it's not anymore working. Okay, the ping this ping is not anymore working, but the ping this uh, this ping from this in our node is is still possible. Why? I will explain you why. Okay. Um, but let's come back here. As you can see, the, the instance has been created very, very well. No issue. The, the first ping from the Cyrus one, okay, from the Cyrus one to the external is working just because we deploy the, D, the DVR, the distributed virtual routing, okay, that has been configured, that has been configured. Because of that, okay, when an IP, uh, uh, a floating IP has been signed up to uh, a, an instance which I have uh, a floating IP, all the flows, okay, the flow from external to the floating IP and the flow from the internal, that has been initiated from the internal to the external, all this flow reside on, on the compute node, essentially. If an instance have an, a floating IP, the the flow internally from external from the instance to external the dnat the destination nat has been performed on this node on this compute node and not another node not and not from another node besides what this before besides that this instance didn't have floating ip okay so because of that because of that if this instance intend to have access to the external network, the, it, its flows will go going through the network nodes. Okay, has this instance didn't have any floating IP because of that its flows will go through this network node. And I, I will show you. And right now I will break it back to the live for one network node, and you see that it is working uh, again. Let me uh, start the, the network node, okay? Right now, I will start only one network node and we see what will happen. I will start uh, one network node, start. Okay, started. And uh, let's see what uh, will happen. Uh, let me just refresh this one and I will really just uh, check out here now it is still down just wait you will just wait a little bit as you can notice uh, our infrastructure is uh, even if uh, we shadow many nodes in our infrastructure is still uh, online 
remember here we have uh, the database server okay one is uh, still on the uh, outline it's not online anymore but uh, our infrastructure is still uh, working okay here the okay the network loop is back now to life you can see it and uh, just uh, let's go back uh, to the to the to our node to our um what's the name okay our cyrus 2 and uh, let's do again the, the ping now it's working just because you you bring to uh, you start one network node okay so because of that uh, the the ping is now working just because of this this particular node this particular instance didn't have a floating ip so because of that let me show you let me show you a slide because of that so because of that because of that uh, this all the traffic the susnap uh, traffic will go in through the network node mandatory okay so that's uh, all for our uh, our uh, episode of today okay so it's i hope i hope that uh, you you appreciate very much this uh i a high availability uh, infrastructure under open stack of testing okay and uh, we hope that uh, we'll be able to reproduce it uh, uh, internally uh, from your side if you want us to to give you the same, this same lab to deploy this same architecture, you will uh, you can just uh, email us okay at this uh, address, just email us uh, at, at this address, and uh, we will be very proud to uh, reply to you okay, and I uh, will give you the same kind of infrastructure to deploy your your, your POC your proof of concept uh, about uh, the high availability uh, infrastructure uh, for. Open stack okay so just email us at this address and we will reply to you to give you uh you can support you all also for the deployment you can support you also for the training if it needed uh, for under uh if needed on the open stack also so thank you very much and see you for the next episode bye from now